I'm Emma, and this is Sarah. We've looked over the materials sent us, and we think this is the best campaign strategy to use to sell Fix Me. The goal of our campaign is to increase awareness and sales in the United States by installing our software, or your software, in at least five stores over the course of one year, by advertising and promoting our technology to retailers, and this will allow you to grow your business and increase your revenue. To start, we suggest that you visit three trade shows throughout the course of the next year, and we chose these because they are large and well-known throughout the country in the fashion industry. Um, through these trade shows, you'll be able to inform people of Fits Me and get businesses' contact information so you can later contact them and just um, get a general interest to the people of Fits Me and get feedback. At the trade shows, we're going to have iPads set up on the table so that um, businesses that are also at the trade shows can come and put their information into the iPad. And with that, we're going to choose one random business and they will get our software um, installed for free. And then with the remaining businesses, we'll call them and see if they're still interested in our product and set up a meeting to go and present to them. And then also, after the trade shows, we're going to send press release, a press release to these three magazines, which are popular magazines in the areas that we're doing the trade shows. And you can see that in your packet. We also suggest you use business to business selling and that you use the leads and contacts that we got from the trade shows and back from the press releases and then you contact the business and set up a meeting and eventually install the software. And we recommend that your PR people oh, I guess you're use this presentation when you show it to them and that on this side you bring it up online and show <laughs> and show the um show the business how it actually works by showing one of our already have customers like Adidas so they can see how the product works. And then we also recommend that you start at small niche stores such as Big Jeans USA and Attitude Boutique which will be at two of the trade shows we're going to. And that way you can start getting information out there and start at smaller stores. And then once more people find out about it and it begins getting more knowledgeable, expand to larger stores such as Gap because it's the largest online realtor and the Nordstrom because that's also a very big online store. We believe this campaign is the best way to achieve your goal because it's the most efficient and affordable way. And as you can see, the total cost for the campaign is only about $3,000. To sum it up, um, we'll begin at smaller businesses and trade shows. And then from the customer profiles and publicity that we gain, that will help the business grow. And then after the trade shows, we'll send out press releases to popular business magazines in the area of the trade shows. And with the widespread publicity and popularity we gain from those, we'll begin selling to larger businesses, which will increase awareness of Fits Me, increase your businesses that you have on the company, and increase profit for you. Talk to me a little bit about the size of the audience and our reach at the trade shows. How many potential customers are going to be at each of those different locations that you select? We're thinking probably around three to four, just because... How many different businesses come to the trade shows? Lots of different businesses. It's a big variety. When we looked it up, there was at least 50 at each one, but we want to say on the smaller amount because we don't know how many people were actually interested in the product. Okay, but like how many actual businesses are coming and exploring <coughs> different booths at the trade show? I would say all the businesses there would be exploring this, right? Okay. Um, so financially, you guys aren't recommending anything that's very, or that is very expensive. And that's great, especially at this stage in our uh, product's life cycle. But what you are recommending is um, a lot of time. Know, and um, I'm just curious how much time you think it will take to uh, travel to the trade shows and uh, make sure you staff those and then what kind of staff would we need for follow-up sales calls on some of those leads? What are you guys' thoughts on how we manage, how we can manage that? 
Um, I think we could probably easily manage that. It might take a little bit of time to set up the trade shows and send people out there, but I think it would be worth it because of the customers we'll be gaining from it and the press releases. You picked three different trade shows, one Nashville, one St. Louis, and then one New York, correct? Mm -hmm. Why nothing on the West Coast? Um, these were just the ones we found. Thanks, girls. Good job. All right, Natalie Cameron next.